Well, hi everyone, good morning. You know, I don't think it's a coincidence that yesterday Keith preached our winner sermon from the book of James about how God is in our troubles and tribulations. And I would encourage you to listen to it if you weren't there yesterday. And this morning in Acts chapter 8, from verses 1 to 3, we read of how the church was thrown into a time of tribulation and turmoil after the stoning of Stephen. And what's more, we can read of the persecutor in charge, a man named Saul. And yes, you're quite right. It's the same man who later became known as Paul, who after a dramatic encounter with Jesus, wrote a large chunk of the New Testament and one of the greatest missionaries for the gospel at that time. Two things we can learn from these three verses in the beginning of Acts chapter 8 is firstly, because of the persecution, the gospel spread far and wide as believers were scattered during that time. And secondly, Saul, the chief persecutor in charge, was so changed by his encounter with Jesus that he changed radically. We could say, and it is true, God used the persecution of the church and the troubles of the believers in Jerusalem to bring about a spread of the gospel like never before. And God also used that time to prepare a man who would later become such an influence to the spreading of the gospel and the establishment of many churches throughout the Roman Empire. If you weren't at church on Sunday, listen to Keith's sermon. Keeping these three verses in mind in Acts chapter 8, you and I need to remind ourselves that God is in our troubles. And because He's in the very midst of our troubles with us, we can proclaim what James said in James 1 verses 2 and 3. Listen to this. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Verse 4. So let it grow. For when your endurance is finally developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Amen. Well, it's a public holiday day today, and just a, a heads up, we did record our feedback from our, our three-day fast. It's available on our website, and if you're in a Gracel at Home group, you would have received it on your WhatsApp group. May God bless you today, and I look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow.